Welcome Virgo to your May career and money reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. Virgo, I'm going to start off by pulling all your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Virgo, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Right, my dear Virgos, let us see now what is coming in for you for this month. The first message you have, my dear Virgos, is decide that you are worthy. You are being asked to stand up and declare that you deserve to be successful. You deserve to be abundant. And when we, my dear Virgos, take this energy on deeply, heart, mind, soul and spirit, we then vibrate differently and we bring different things into our life. So it's going to be very interesting to see what that is about. You then have number 38, Remembrance. And the frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in a body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. So my dear Virgos, this month, there is possibility that something will come up that you will have a memory of a similar situation happening in the past. And now you have got the wisdom, the experience and the knowledge on how to handle the situation in your present circumstance. So it's going to be interesting to see what that is about. And finally, we have number 36, Divine teachers coming through with the energy of balance. And here, my dear Virgos, your divine teachers are asking you to find the balance between what your heart is wanting and your abundance, your career, money and finances. Virgo, I'm going to start off by pulling all your tarot cards. This is going to give us a nice holistic view of all the energies coming through for you for this month. So let us see what we have for Virgo, please. Right. We have the Two of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Temperance and the Seven of Pentacles. The Star and the High Priestess. Virgo, what I am seeing here for you is that in May, I think you are going to have a very big possibility coming in for you that has the potential of placing you in an elevated position when it comes to your career, money and finances. This is the energy we are seeing here. It's the energy, my dear Virgos, of being offered or given something Virgo that's outside of your comfort zone. This could be the possibility of being offered a job that's out of your comfort zone, a promotion that you now have to take on more responsibilities. It could be the energy of landing a big client in your business, my dear Virgos, that you now think to yourself, oh my gosh, how am I going to manage such a big piece of business? It could be, my dear Virgos, you're now offered a possibility to buy a home that might be a bigger investment than you thought. It could be anything like that where you might feel that, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I've got the skills. I don't know if I've got the capabilities. And we see that there might be the possibility for some of my Virgos to go into our Two of Swords energy 
where you can become quite overwhelmed and you're not sure what to do. But my dear Virgos, we have Ten of Pentacles coming out here. Now this is a very auspicious energy to get in a career and money reading because the Ten of Pentacles for me is the happily ever after card when it comes to your abundance, your security, your money, your finances. And we are speaking about what this means to you. Whatever is coming through, my dear Virgos, it might feel uncomfortable initially, but take time to look at it closely because with Ten of Pentacles coming out here, whatever it is that's coming through has the potential of really establishing you and placing you in a very good position financially and abundantly. And the big message here is don't let your feeling of I'm not good enough, I don't have what it takes to come in and affect this decision. Because my dear Virgos, please know when you are offered something, it's because you are worthy, because it's your time. You might feel that you don't have the skills, the capabilities, the gifts and the talents, but this would not have come through if you did not have the capability. So now, my dear Virgos, it's your time to take off that blindfold, look at whatever this is for you, and understand the potential it has in bringing you to exactly where you want to be when it comes to your abundance and finances. You are more than worthy, my dear Virgos. Virgo, what I am seeing under remembrance is that in May, you might be working on something that has just started. It's the beginning phases. This is represented by our little sapling and it might even be connected to what is coming through for you here. You're just seeing the beginning phase of something. But what we see is underneath the surface, in the soil, all these pentacles are growing on all these numerous roots. And they are going to only grow and expand further and further. Somewhere in the past, you have had the experience, my dear Virgos, of starting something that you could not see the potential immediately. You had to be patient. You had to be stable and balanced and wait to see where it progressed. You had to have that strong internal belief that even though you can't see what's going on beneath the surface, you need to acknowledge that by nurturing and caring for what this little sapling could represent to you, it has great potential now to grow and blossom into something. So sometime in your past, something very similar came about and you're being asked to remember what it felt like to start from the beginning to remember the energy of having faith while you patiently waited to see something grow and manifest. But the potential here, my dear Virgos, is incredible. So, my dear Virgos, even if you're just starting from the beginning, and this could be starting a new job and you have to build yourself up, starting a new business, starting a savings plan or an investment, Whatever it is, remember how something started small and if you nurtured it and grew it, how big and lucrative it can become for you. Under balance, we've got the star and high priestess. And I do feel the balance energy is speaking to both of these core messages we saw. The balance energy is also coming through with our temperance energy again. Your divine teachers are coming through and letting you know, my dear Virgos, that both of these core messages are big, significant, energetic lessons for you. 
The big lesson here is to believe that you are worthy. You are worthy for abundance to flow in. You are worthy. You have what it takes. You are, my dear Virgos, gifted, skilled and talented. Even if you don't see it and don't believe it, your divine teachers, my dear Virgos, want you to acknowledge that when incredible possibility comes your way, it's coming your way because it's meant for you. And it's now time for you to stand up and say, yes, I'm worthy. I deserve abundance. Your divine teachers are also letting you know that this is part of a lesson you have memory of. Use that wise wisdom deep within you as you embark on something new. This month, my dear Virgos, your divine teachers are working with you. There are big significant lessons coming through here so that you are able now to stand up and claim what is due to you and say, yes, I'm worthy. I am abundant and I deserve because ultimately, my dear Virgos, your divine teachers are telling you, you are the star. You deserve to have your dreams and blessings come in. But you need to claim, yes, I am worthy. I deserve it. You, my dear Virgos, are the star of the show and your divine teachers want you to see yourself as the star you are. Strong messages coming through for you, my dear Virgos. Let us move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you for this month. Right, let us see now what Virgo's angels would like to share with them, please. And you have got power and intention. My dear Virgo's, your angels want you to be strong and to be very clear about what you want this month. They want you to channel and access your strength that when something incredibly good comes along, you can stand up and say, yes, this is mine. I deserve this. I am worthy. Your angels want you to know that this is a time where you will be accessing past experience. You have the wise, deep knowledge. You've been through this before. You know what it is when something starts from the beginning and you've seen how potential can grow and expand. Your angels are with you, they are guiding you and they are loving you and they want you, my dear Virgos, this month to be the strong, empowered Virgo that you are. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a month filled with abundance and success and I'm sending you all so much love.